Good morning and a very warm welcome to our worship together at St Francis here today, Sunday the 1st of November. And even if we can't worship all together in church and we're worshipping at home through the paper version that's been delivered to us or we're using the email version, we're still all members of the same church family and joined together uh, by being family members and by God's Holy Spirit together. Uh, this service today takes the form of Holy Communion. So when we come to the part of receiving communion at home, there will be a prayer that comes up for you on the screen to use to help you to reflect upon Jesus, who he is and what he has done for us and to draw close to God. My name is Joy Daniel, I'm one of the clergy here at St Francis and the subject of our service today and our theme is for this All Saints Day is being a mature church, very appropriate for All Saints Day. Liz will be bringing the reading on that subject from Ephesians chapter 4. Jamie will be leading us in our prayers and Barbara will be bringing God's word to us uh, from that reading and we look forward to what she has to share with us this morning on that subject. So may we begin. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. We know that when we come before God in a humble attitude to confess our sins, then he hears us and he graciously welcomes us and forgives us our sins. So we join together now to confess our sins using the words of the confession. Most merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we confess that we have sinned in thought, word and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive what we have been. Help us to amend what we are and direct what we shall be, that we may do justly, love mercy and walk humbly with you, our God. Amen. So we receive God's forgiveness, freely poured out for us, but hard won by Jesus' sacrificial death on the cross. May the God of love and power forgive you, free you from your sins, heal and strengthen you by the Spirit, and raise you to new life in Christ our Lord. Amen. So forgiven people, we rise to praise God together using the words of the Gloria. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And the collect for all saints tide. God of holiness, your glory is proclaimed in every age. As we rejoice in the faith of your saints, inspire us to follow their example with boldness and joy through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now we come to that time when we have that opportunity to sing in worship of God using the songs and the hymns which will come up on your screen after which we will have our reading and our sermon and the intercessions. <laughs> 